Alright. Let's see if the sucker works. Hmm. Where should I go? Hmm, I know. I'll pick randomly. So Germany. Let's see what was happening in Germany during the mid-1700s, shall we? Seventeen forty-one. That seems oddly specific. Oh well. Sing me. What? Yes, and this is the same location you were in before because it's a different universe. Yay! Of course. So, what am I doing here again? Well, you get to learn about Prussian history and culture. Why? Well, Prussia was the rising Greek power of the region. You selected, the date selected, you know. Austrian Silesia of 1741 was actually being invaded by Prussia's Frederick the Great. Of course. So, why are you behind the cardboard box? Well, you know, the economy. That isn't what I meant in saying the question. Oh, this is my sock puppet box because I'm going to be using socks and my hands to teach about Prussia. Here, let me go get my socks. There we go. You're obviously going to use the socks. So, why don't you have the box with you? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Hold that thought. Okay, now throw it away, because it's not going to do anything for me. Who are you? Because you're me. Yeah. Moving on, now, I believe we should get on with the show. Here. Let me go get set up. Of course. Hmm. Where to begin? Yeah, I know. Let's start with King William the First of Prussia, Brandenburg, the HRE elector. Man, man was greatly focused on military power. Got me. Of course. Hello, Prince Leo. How are my troops here on the training field? Ah, King William. How good it is to see you again. It seems that the army may be able to hold its own now. Yet 36,000 troops may survive the battle, I believe. Splendid. What do you think should be done next to make the army something to fear? Something to be proud of? Something to admire? Something I hope I never use myself. I was thinking that we get some more troops. We can always use more infantry, can we not? Great idea, King William. Why don't we double the army? No. I think we should raise an army of 80,000. I will acknowledge that this is a great many soldiers, but hear me. The number would be unprecedented for a standing army. In order to keep an army that large, we would need to rotate standing men so the fields don't go on its own. Each man will only be required to stand in the army and sharpen his skills every two years for two months. What do you think of that? Absolutely brilliant. So long as the funds are there, it should be done. I thought it good. And so it will be done. Well, this is dull. I would have thought I'd make it more entertaining for myself. That's it fairly well corrected. Fine. I'll spice up a little. How would you like that? What about that? 
song. That's what I'll do. I'll do a song. We are Prussians. Mighty, mighty Prussians of the Prussian army. No singing. Well then, I'll continue with the dull story. Hmm? I must say, you're missing out. I'm a hilariously terrible singer. Yeah, you are me after all. Well, that was the end of the early Prussian scene, anyway. So, get on with the show. Welcome to the Grand Illusion. Come on in and see what's happening. Pay the price. Get your tickets for the show. Here, I thought the show was free. Free for me? Here, give me a second to find Frederick the Great Sock, would you? The stage is set, the band starts playing. Suddenly, your heart starts pounding, wishing secretly you were a star. There you go. Here's the sock I've been looking for. Now for the show. Hello, Prince Leopold. I've got this brilliant idea. I think we should take Silesia, a region with all the resources and people and whatnot. It'd be greatly beneficial to our fledging industry. And we could use the people in the army. Why, King Frederick, you want to declare war on Austria? Why, that's suicide. There are millions more peasants than us. How do you suppose we oppose a large force? They will try together, surely. Our troops are yet to be proven. Uh, we have no idea how they will act in battle. Your father, King William, although he may have been brought to you, would never run into a fight. Well, I think we sh will find out whether or not our troops are any good. And to answer the question of how to oppose a large force, I have secured an alliance with France. They want to claim Maria Theresa's new throne as the emperor. I hope that's how you say her name. I think that's right. I hope I trained the infantry well enough to siege Silesia. Now, I kind of had something missing. Your eye. Your eye's missing. Oh well. When do you want to declare war? We're just going to march right on in. We should be there by December 20th. People will mock the data as the day Prussia became a great power in Europe. And then, I got to build universities and schools and educate our young. I'll tell you, I suggest as I do that, and I thought it'd be most brilliant of ideas. Even the peasants? Yeah, as well. Someone needs to run the bureaucracy and collect the taxes, and it will instill a loyalty to me. It's much then. And so, Prussia took and defended Silesia from Austria. Ah, showing the military brilliance of Frederick the Great and the impressiveness of the trained army. You're going to regret it if you have another one of these puppet shows. Well, I guess I will regret this then. Are you ready for Karl Marx? Wait, who's Prussian? Yeah, so are you ready? We're not, and we're ready now, and we'll annoy you later. Won't stop you, will it? Nope. The bullet notes go as follows. Communism is a workers' revolution. It will happen in an industrialized country where there is social unrest. There will be no owned land and everyone will be economically equal. I'm also supposed to say that communists should come out from hiding. Uh, I'd like to write this thing. I want to get a How do do this? Yeah, I know I'm lazy. I don't want to write this. I guess me being lazy is part of the reason I find communism so appealing. Well, I guess I better write. I gotta hand it to my homeland, Russia. I do know how to educate the youth. Sweet. So, what else will you be teaching with puppets? Revolutionary France is the main one I like teaching. Oh, shoot. Why did I say that? See you in a second. So I need some paper and a straw. <laughs> and so, Napoleon invaded Prussia. Would, would you quit that? I think not. <laughs> 